It's been a long time since I filmed an engine build video. Uh, last thing you probably saw on the video was probably uh, when Jesse did the cams. Anyways, so uh, I sold the idler pulley. And I actually sold my power steering by getting the other one in return. And they give me money and I rebuild that and I'll put it back on here. But right now, um, yeah. So I actually got some stuff in. We'll see how far we can get into this video. Uh, these are brand new. Um, the first ones of the Gersey's uh, lightweight idle air pulley and tension air pulley. And the first ever lightweight uh, power steering pulley. So, uh, at, right out the back, don't call me no instructions. And uh, we'll go ahead and open these up and take a look. All right, guys. So, right off the back, um, here we have it. I don't know if they'll say anything on here regarding which one's which. It looks like probably both the same. I don't know which side is where. I think this is part of the outer sides. I'm assuming. We'll try to match it up with what we got up there. Um, and here's the lightweight um, power steering pulley. This one, I could probably show you. I could show you uh, that one, the weight difference. Not show you, but I'll be able to uh, at least compare it just by um, visual and feeling it in my hand and letting you guys know if you guys believe me or not. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and remove that one and we'll probably remove one of the power steering pumps actually. I think I got one somewhere around here. Alright, I'm sorry guys. I do not have the pulley. I guess I just have the pump only. I don't know why I have just the pump only. I think we reused the pulley on someone's. So yeah, we're just gay. But anyways, I guess I could show you guys um, the comparison on the tensioner pulley. So this is tensioner. This is like your main tension and this is just an idler pulley because they don't do nothing but spin and you know, while you're idling I guess, I don't know. Then we'll go ahead and take, so this is reverse thread. And this one is, a, I think this is just regular. We'll take that off. We'll go ahead and pull this off and we'll try to compare to see which one's which. They said you do not use so any of these washers, the OEM ones. So we'll go ahead and remove it. No, no washers or anything, he says. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one off, just like that. And we're gonna see which one resembles this one the most. It looks like it will be this one. Kind of hard to tell. We'll put both of them on just to see. I'm gonna assume that this is the outside. The thing is, you just don't want it touching. So hard to tell. I'll find out. I'm gonna ask uh, Andy from uh, where I bought these from, which one's which, and which side goes, or which side should be showing. All right, guys. So. This is how, he hasn't gone back to me yet, but this is how I figured it out. Um, the blue one, cotter pin is facing towards us on both of them. Blue one is your tensioner, your main tensioner pulley. And the black one is your idler pulley. Alright. Um, 
So technically, I don't, this is real dirty. I don't want to put it on there, but we'll just do it just to mock it up a little bit. Go ahead and put this on here. And let's go ahead and kind of just mock this up real quick. All right, guys, this is just mocked up. I even got a bolt right there. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, how it is. I'm waiting for it to get back to me to confirm these two. Uh, but this is kind of how it looks. Don't mind the dirty ass alternate uh, water pump. So yeah, lightweight, 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 lightweight. The only thing that's not lightweight at the moment is probably a lightweight alternator pulley, but this is probably like very tiny anyway. Uh, and then probably just the AC. Oh shit, this is not even on right. We'll go ahead and put that on. But anyways, um, yeah, this is it for now. I'll bring it back once I get the new power steering rebuilt and put it back on. And yeah. I'll go ahead and put the Instagram because um, I met, I bought him through Instagram. I don't know if they have it on their site. By the time you uh, look at this video, he probably had these on his site now. Uh, just in case, I'll put his uh, website in the link description. If not, then go to his Instagram and message him. Hey guys, excuse the noise. We're going to go ahead and actually start weighing um, a few things. Um, so I'm going to be including this into the, the video before I put it on. We're gonna be going ahead and weighing uh, a few pulleys, like the stock tensioner. This is not the Eiler pulley, this is the tensioner pulley. And this is everything I removed off, which is not going back onto the onto the engine. So this is the tensioner one, which is more, is the bottom one. So this is the stock t tensioner. You're looking at 0.83 pounds. All right. So now we got the Gersey one. So we got the Gersey pulley. Only Gersey makes a lightweight tensioner as of right now. So this one is the only one we'll ever have to compare to. So we'll go ahead and weigh that. 0.68. All right. And let's go back to this one. I forgot again. 84 so you save about 84 and 68 about what is that 16.16 of a pound not bad so let's go over I'll, I'll get the size of a stock uh idler pulley i'll put it put it right here for the stock one so unfortunately i don't have one right now so i got the gersey and i got the the old one I used to have, which I'm gonna get back just because of this. So we'll go with the Gersey one. 0.57. So we already know this is gonna be lighter than the stock one. So whatever the difference, I'll include in the video right here. Um, yeah, so that's how much it weighs. 0.57. Shockingly, the unorthodox lightweight Eiler pulley. 0.36. Even lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is we running a Gersey and an Orthodox setup. Not just uh, Gersey alone. This one is probably going to go to my one of my buddies. Uh, and we're going to swap them out. Because I gave this one to one of them. But we're going to swap it out with the Gersey one. Because I want to run the lighter one. Alright. This is very cool little things to know. And then in the Gersey kit it, it also comes with a lightweight power steering pulley. Gersey's the only one so far that I know that makes it, so these are the only two comparisons we're gonna have. So we got the stock one. The stock power steering pulley is 1.46 pounds. And shockingly, the lightweight uh, Gersey one is about half the size at 0.77. So pretty good weight total. I'll add the total weight we saved. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start um, re actually rebuilding this power steering because I got rid of the other one and putting all this back onto the engine. All right, guys, so I got my hands on the stock idler pulley, so we're gonna go ahead and break this off. Save it. 
Now let's do some comparing. So we got finally all three Eiler pulleys on the market for the Teschner pulley. They only have, um, we call it two of them, but Eiler pulley, you got Liam, Gersey now, and uh, an Orthodox one. We turn it on. We're gonna go ahead and measure that stock one. Take this off real quick. So we are about, I need to take this off. About 55, okay? 55 for the idler pulley. 57 for the Gersey idler pulley, which is so crazy to me. And we got 0.36 for the new uh, Orthodox one. Alright guys, so you officially seen it. The the weight difference. So we're gonna be actually installing just this one on Santi. So he'll be the kind of the first one to actually have this installed that I know of. Um usually it's the whole kit, but you know he'd be the one with the, at least the Gurji pulley in. I don't know if you can notice any difference because this is very, very these things are very minimal. Unless you have like a whole bunch of shit like I do. But yeah, we'll go ahead and install this on some of these cars and go take a look and see what changed with him. S.A. Santi back in action. And we got the merch. So this will be the first, um, oh, I've been giving him out, but he'll be the first one to actually show it on camera, the merch. This is it. Yeah. So I think yours might actually be on the top top right there. One of the largest. Right. You can see he's right now, he's rocking the Eiler pulley. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that one. Cause like I said, that one is lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out cause he let me, you know, swap it out for him. And he wants to work the Gersey. I'm gonna rock that just cause it's lighter. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and now remove the serpentine belt. All right, to install any of these pulleys, uh, you're gonna get the 14 millimeter on top of that one and you're gonna pry it. So you're gonna get the 14 on top of this pulley right here, pry it, get the belt off, and then you get the belt off, all right? So once you get the belt off, you're gonna go ahead and for this one is reverse threads. So you're gonna do uh, righty loosey. So you're gonna actually go this way and break this bolt off and just continue taking it off. Once it breaks, it's very easy to remove. And you can actually see, um, I don't know why there's arrows on here actually, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and remove it now. It's very hot. Whew. Just like that. Go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna grab the new Gersey pulley. Here we go. Got the new Gersey pulley. Go ahead and put it right back on. And kind of just place it on for now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Two. All Yeah, let me see how this goes on real quick if I have it. The cotter pin on the outside or inside? Hey, is that dead? That's grounds. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to movies. I'm, I'm busting a salty what, yesterday. Damn. Why? Are you going to bust another tire tonight? <laughs> no, I'm going to bust a salty. He's going to go to the movies. Uh, he, he's going, yeah, but the only difference is that at least you get to take the girl home. Santi, on the other hand, she 
I'm not going to school. I'm not going to school. How am I weak? Hey, Dr. Fuzzy, I told you, all you have to do is try it online, and I guarantee you, as soon as it's fucking, we don't need to go to the movies. Hey, I heard Sug canceled on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, just like that, it is now fully installed. Very, very easy. Um, I might actually have them just start it real quick just to confirm everything works uh, But yeah, that's the new Jersey pulley everything is actually now I got to fix right there I actually got to fix that one Jersey wear pulley now I'm gonna be getting gapped by type S's Every time I lose, I'm gonna blame it on you. All right, go ahead and start it. Let's see. Let's make sure everything's good. Yep. Hey, see if you hear that hissing like I'm losing air. Window right here. Catch you the next spot. All right, we're through the merch after. We go ahead and do the short ram because it's gonna rain, and we get what don't we want? Water in the engine. I don't want to do that. Yeah, so he's gonna rotate his tires. He just got these tires, right? All of them, no, or just the rear? Just I'm the rear. The newer one. Oh, yeah, he's gonna paint those in the back. Those, and then if we get it all in, up in the air, put this one on that side and put that one on this side, like cross the front one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a short ram, very easy. But it's gonna take off this coupler, and then uh, we should be able to get it out. But if not, we can take off that coupler and we'll go ahead and take off right there. And then uh, we'll put the filter just on this, make it a short ram. Something is really connected, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Just like that, short ram is off. You just gotta remove that piece. We're gonna go ahead and jack up the front and start rotating his tire. For circuit pin belt, this is the best to use. Very skinny tool, gets in there very easy, and then just use a regular uh, 14. Make sure it's on three. There we go. I don't know if I showed you guys the final setup, but we're going with the an Orthodox pulley. As you see, it was super light. We're going with the endless RPM lightweight pulley or crank pulley, and then up here is the Gersey. Uh, lightweight power steering pulley with a Gersey lightweight tensioner pulley as well so that's the setup I'm running for this NA setup um, I'm almost done with this motor I know everyone just wants me to drop it in but I really just want to make sure I get everything that I want first because I don't want to do the job twice you have seen got my spec uh, aluminum fly flywheel my spec uh, aluminum clutch or not aluminum but spec uh, stage 2 plus clutch that's done uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I got a package from HGO Creations, and I cannot wait to open this. So let's get right into this. All right, guys, here it is. Basically, the first out of many pieces, but this is the carbon fiber radiator cover for the Acura TL. Oh my god, it looks so damn good. Damn. I'll give you more um, picks um, in the daytime and when it's on as well. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, actually, I'm going to end the video after I show you HCO Creations. Um, Emblems I got from Mariah's car. So let's go ahead and show you that real quick So we got Mariah's car right here as you see and we put the wing on looks so dope. Thank you shout out to Kevin once again Right here we put the carbon uh, Forge or chop carbon I guess with the red in it Looks so good
and we did it as well for the front. So here it is, carbon fiber. Eventually, I do want him to get all my other stuff uh, done as well because I think I really like. I know they, the color match is pretty clean, but I think the carbon fiber will make it pop a lot better than the the color the color match. But yeah, so far it looks pretty dope. Oof, looks so clean. Shout out to ACO Creations um, for actually sponsoring me and um, hooking me up with some of the emblems. As you've seen, he gave me also the the, the carbon fiber uh, radiator. Alright, yep. ACO's, uh, ACO Creations. I'll put his link in, or his ID right here and in the description for him. Uh, he's been uh, hooking me up big time with a bunch of stuff that I want. There's a future stuff that I do want to get that I think would be pretty dope. It would be like one of the first ever for the CLs. But um, yeah, so we'll end the video here. Here, Thank you for uh, watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.